E A E. They got a new TV spot out that gives us a little bit more of the dialogue and story of the Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I want to dive deep in there because I think they're going to uh, change the background origin a little bit when it comes to the turtles and their relationships with outer beings. So, first and foremost, we have the clip cut up in segments so I don't get copyright striked again of Superfly breaking down how the stories are intertwined, right? So they meet up, they realize both of each other are mutants, the turtles and like the gang of mutants. It's like, oh snap, did this junk happen 15 years ago? Which it did, and they was talking about his dad, Baxter Stockman. So in his mind, all these mutations are all 15, even though he looked like a grown adult. It was like 15 years ago. So I'm assuming that Superfly was the first experiment. So in their heads, they're cousins. So they feel some sense of familiarity and bondsmanship with each other. However, side note, who the heck gave you this man the braces? Like, I'm still wondering what the heck that came from. Anywho, something does happen because the <laughs> it seems a superfly snapping on them. So eventually they part ways to some degree. But I think it's because the turtles took something out of the lab to a degree because they are carrying this blue orb around. And I don't know if that's like blue ooze or something, but I do think it's something like a demutinization substance because they're carrying it around this creature, which is looking like a superfly Godzilla breed or something. Like, maybe he got extra mutated or anything. It all comes from Carlos Esposito, who was playing Baxter Stockman. You can see him carrying the ooze. And the question is, why the heck is this glowing blue? Is this like the anti-ooze, which demutinized everything? Or is it just speculations to this point? Last but not least, we still have this last piece of mystery evidence. We don't know why uh, Leo through this and if you're not familiar with this this is like the teaser that Seth Rogen posted on Twitter two years ago now this was when he just introduced the concept of him doing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle he said this is basically the identity of the kids like they're gonna be actual teenagers now we haven't yet seen an individual that looks like this a long time ago I theorized that this might be the agent from the 2003 film and series but it's starting to seem like maybe i was on a far end of that spectrum but it's still possible but i keep you guys posting and let me know if y'all think i missed out on anything and if you're still feeling for some more teenage mutant ninja Turtle news go ahead and click this video right there where i break down where shredder could possibly show up and break down the upcoming paramount series of the turtles